Cheers for Councillor Kevin Drum from the Scottish Borders. Good afternoon, friends. What an act to follow, eh? How do I do that? I was nervous before, but hey -o. Welcome to Hope Over Fear Final Countdown Rally. What an absolute honour and privilege it is for me to be here among so many fellow yesers and also to be speaking amongst so many great ambassadors in our fight for self-determination. Hope Over Fear, what a title. That sums us up perfectly and it illustrates the major difference between us who want Scotland to be an independent nation and those who don't. Those who hope for a better future rather than fear the change. I, just like the majority of you here, have campaigned tirelessly for our independence. It was, just wasn't to be. And I will never forget how in the morning of the 19th of September 2014, I was absolutely devastated. Just like you, I didn't know where to go next. And then the fear struck me. The fear that my country was going to be continued to be run by a Westminster government. What kind of country were we then leaving for our future generations? And then I knew I just had to find hope. And in the words of Alex, I knew I could not let the dream die. I then joined the SNP and I got back out there knocking doors, speaking to people and I was campaigning in the 2015 general election for my fellow yes friend Callum Kerr. Callum won his seat after a hard fought battle and we returned 56 out of 59 MPs to Westminster. This then again gave me the hope, hope that once again my country would get its right to choose self-determination. I became more involved in local politics, more involved for our local branch, and in 2017, I was asked to represent the SNP in our area and stand for election. I won one of the seats, and I now stand as one of the, one of the seven, the nine, sorry, SNP councillors who daily take the Tory-led administration to task. Since then, I have worked behind the scenes, both publicly, to try and show others that Westminster does not work for us. Trying to convince others that self-determination is the only real choice we have. It is the best option for Scotland. Unionist parties, do not have our interests at heart. They are Westminster's representatives in Scotland. They are not Scotland's representatives in Westminster. So I continue to push self-determination as being the only choice for us. I continue to hope for a better future rather than fear the consequences of a union that does not work. I now feel now is the right time. This is the time to ask the people of Scotland again to choose a better future for our country and our future generations. We know the numbers are close now and we need to use this time before a referendum is announced to speak to others. Let our people know the advantages of making decisions for ourselves. This may be by numerous means talking to your friends, talking to work colleagues, talking to family, whatever we or good old fashioned street door knocking, which is my preference. We know from the results in the borders that the percentage of voters who will never share our, better, our future for a better, fairer, more inclusive Scotland, they will still hang on to their dying union. They will continue to be driven by fear. There is no point engaging with them. We also know where our support is very strong and whereby when you're out knocking doors on a cold winter's evening, it's always nice to talk to those with a similar vision and the same hope for Scotland as you have. But 
they're on our side already. The people we need to engage with and be sharing information are those who are now undecided. And I know in my neck of the woods, many of these undecided voters come from the previous no camp. So there is work to be done. It's the people who are saying, hang on a minute, is this really better together? Are we really a union of equals? No. Scotland is being ignored. Its people are being ignored. And our rich economy is being used to prop up a failing United Kingdom. These are the people we need to be talking to. These are the people we need to move from fear and get them to embrace the hope. People with a vision for a better country. People like us. Show them the value of hope versus the negativity of fear. So friends, I ask, when you're back at work, when you're at home, when you're in your local, we can all work to enlighten people. We can show them we are big enough. We are smart enough. And we are rich enough. Show them our hope will continue to beat the fear. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what will win us our independence. Hope over fear. Thank you.